Hey guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we got some exciting stuff to go over in warships. Um, <clears throat> but first, guys, make sure that you have your uh, your chicken statue out front and center on your base. You guys are wondering how to get this statue. I've had a lot of people ask me since the update came out. Um, all you have to do is simply connect your account to Supercell ID, which I recommend doing anyways because it's very, uh, you know... It's good because when you switch devices, I always had this problem when I got a new phone. I was like, oh, like my Clash Clans, my Boom Beach accounts. Like, um, as soon as you get this, you just simply log into it and it's so easy. It's so smooth. Um, yeah. So make sure you're doing that. Also, guys, I know I mention it maybe too much, but uh, I do appreciate it if you use the code chicken in the shop. The lights are not on anymore uh, on our sign here. It also doesn't say code chicken, so that has zero relevancy to what I'm talking about now. But just a shout out to you guys because I do appreciate it. So. Here's what we got going on today. <clears throat> now, we went to 5ER. We went to rocket launchers. Now, I was hoping, I was hoping, and I was, uh, I was playing lots today, but I was hoping we were going to have some huge wins. We were going to crush it and get to diamond. Uh, what I can say is this base is good, and, you know, we're right there. We're, we're right on the edge, but we just can't seem to, uh, oh, we just can't seem to get over the hump. Um, and... I think the main issue, honestly, is just uh, my attacks with rocket choppers. I think it's more of a chicken issue than a tech issue at this point. Um, I'm just not super consistent with it. I either crush the base and, you know, we get like a 230, or it's the other end of the spectrum and, uh, you know, we lose half our rocket choppers before we take down a few engines. The good thing, the good news, if you guys are better with, than, uh, than me with rocket choppers, this base is amazing. I mean, it hardly ever gets cleared. If you can see all these battles, there's typically always engine rooms left. So, <clears throat> you know, the, that's a combination of the max rockets and going to five and getting the building damage. I still don't have the building damage maxed out, but I don't think between tick four and tick five, it's going to make a huge world of difference. It's obviously going to help. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think my problem comes down on offense, but, you know, I, I'm very happy with the, uh, with the tech path that we're on. And the choices we made, I don't, I wouldn't do anything differently at this point. I would not go back and get Barrage. Um, maybe Kavan, Heavy Zuka with Barrage. So basically the opposite of what I'm doing is Kavan, Heavy Zuka, Barrage, right? Um, instead of the Rockets, instead of Bullet, and instead of pushing forward to uh, stay back and get Zukas. That's proving to be equally as good. And it's, it's, uh, it's not as fast as Rocket Choppers, but it will clear the base. Um, <clears throat> so it's definitely something, you know, it's kind of a little bit late to keep in mind now but i mean we knew that was an option going into it right i'm trying to get the blue behind me it's kind of cool that you can go through like all different colors but anyways um yeah so you know looking back on it you know maybe that was a viable option as well but <clears throat> it's it's hard to say in the moment and i think what we did at the time was the best move so um yeah i would probably go back and do pretty much the exact same thing as where we're at currently so this guy's a 5ER. I forgot to check if he's got building damage maxed out or not, but uh, let's see what we can do here. And yeah, so this is what I like to do. I like to really space out the heavies. And you know, the rocket choppers, they're going to fly over top of that overpass anyways, so we might as well uh, just throw them all in together. Now, I find a 5ER, like, uh, basically what you want to do is, um, let's see if we can get this here. Oh, we got him. Um, basically what you want to do is... <clears throat> You want to flare over to the right uh, once your troops start to start, you know, going forward too much because they will split here, and that's not what we want. We want to try to avoid that if we can. So uh, we're gonna let them fly out here for a second. Let's get a shock knuckles going there. Oh, that was beautiful. He captured all the doom cannons, captured everything or boom cannons rather, and uh, kind of took everything down there. So let's do one more shock knuckles just to save some GBE in the future. And I'm actually gonna let them just go here and, and take out this stuff. <clears throat> just because if we can get it while well, we can that's gonna be nice and let's bring them back right about now okay no I should have smoked a little bit earlier oh the smoke didn't go down nice 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 that's gonna cost us two rock choppers and prevent us from finishing the uh, the base pretty well so then I like I like to go down like this and uh, flare them down on this side just because it's easier um, <clears throat> it's easier to keep them together. It's easier to keep the group a little bit tighter. I don't know if that can's gonna come into play or not. 
Oh, just not. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll get two. Now, typically at this point, what I like to do is uh, go for that Hail Mary Flare on that last engine. Unfortunately, we don't have enough rocket choppers in uh, in place right now, so we're going to have to try to do this. Um, ah, it's a little bit late. We're going to have to try to do this uh, with what we got left here, and I don't know if it's going to work or not. So, let's see. Actually, we might have a fighting chance here. It's going to be very close, though. Let's get one more shock off. And there we go. The machine guns are not going to do a ton of damage. But I think we can actually stay out of range here. It's all about that rocket chopper control, man. That's what it all comes down to. Alright, let's flare them up this way. Get away from that cannon. Get onto that machine gun, please. And you'll see the rocket choppers, they'll actually go out of bounds a little bit. Um, and then we're golden, man. We're good. We got one on him. And uh, he's not getting targeted by anything. So, um, Like I said, our base typically does not ever get fully taken down. Uh, at 5 ER with the max rockets. Um, so as long as we can uh, just be consistent on offense. Like I said, that's the part I'm struggling with. Unless we can be consistent, then we're going to be in a good spot. And I think we can uh, make that push to diamond. But it's just going to be back and forth, back and forth. Apparently that's my first one of the day. Although I've been playing all day long. So uh, that is season high, I believe. So let's just keep it going. Keep it rock and roll. These attacks do take a while. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get to 20 in one go. But we'll try our best here. Um... Yeah, we got some exciting things coming up, guys. Uh, like I said, I got a new computer. I'm building a new studio. Um, it's going to be really exciting, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and all of our other channels because we've got a lot of stuff going on on YouTube uh, that I hope that uh, some of you uh, want to watch. So this guy's got... He's got the full building damage. He's got everything. <clears throat> he's going to throw the kitchen sink at us, but that's okay. We're not too concerned. Um... This base looks pretty standard, pretty well the same thing that we just faced, so we just got to do it all over again. Um, Alright, so we're going to take out this first cannon. Now, I don't want to throw my rock choppers just yet, because they are going to fly in front of the heavies. The good thing is, with their range, they'll stay back a little bit, and now we can go over this side. I might have thrown those heavies out on the far right side a little bit early, but uh, it's okay. They actually might all die. I might have just completely sacrificed them for absolutely no reason, so... Hopefully we don't do that. Let's click on the heavies, get rid of that aerial symbol. And there we go. Boom. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's shock right here. We missed that one boom cannon. And that's huge, man. If you can get that stupid bullet wrap, whatever you want to call it, it's uh, it's definitely a nice addition. So, ah, I missed this boom cannon. <sighs> Ouch. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Now, one shock and one rocket chopper on one boom cannon is not going to be enough to make a difference. So, I'm actually going to reflare them right here. And we'll shock here if needed, which we... No, nope, we're a little bit late again. So, if you make a couple, like, little mistakes like that, that really ends up costing you the entire attack. Um, that's kind of what it all comes down to if you're able to, you know, um, <clears throat> pull the hits off perfectly. Or if you need to, uh, like, really help them with gunboat energy and things like that, that that's what's going to cost you at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Basically, I'm just saying that we screwed ourselves there. And I shocked too early. But it's okay. Alright, so let's take down this cannon. Let's do the best we can with what we got. Right, and let's flare down this way. We'll take out this flamethrower over here. Get those zookas nice and roasted. Good, good. Everyone likes a nice roasted and toasted zooka. Um, yeah, this is going to be exactly what happened before, except we didn't take down the middle engine room to start off. So uh, we're also going to have to shock here. So we're not going to have any gumball energy left for anything. Uh, yep, we're going to have to shock there. I was thinking maybe flare and smoke and, and shock up top, but I, I I don't know. We just didn't really have the time. Uh, let's just flare them all onto this boom cannon right here. Maybe we'll get lucky. One will survive. Even if the one does survive, I think the machine guns are going to take him down. Oh, it's going to be so close. It's going to be so close. No, he retreated too. We had him. Man. As if they went down at the same exact time. Are you kidding me? Ah. Let me guess. We lost on percentage. That would be the chicken way to go. Oh, we won on percentage. Let's go, dude. I'll take that. I mean, essentially we won that, so. Um, all right, let's do one more. Let's do one more before we sign off here. We're getting close here. Oh, can we get to 20? <coughs> Can we get to 20? If we win this one, if we win this, if, if, unless we lose, I'm going to keep the video going. So it might be a longer one, it might be a shorter one. This guy's 4ER, so we should technically win. Um, now let's see what we got here. 
All right, let's go. Um, let's go heavies and bullet. The classic, classic trio. Okay, and we can throw two down over here. Now I'm gonna keep them all left. I don't care about that flamethrower. We're gonna completely avoid that. That serves literally no purpose other than, oh, okay. It's gonna cost us a flare, but whatever. We'll go this way. We got a couple heavies up there now. The cannon should have to two-shot them, so the rocket should take them down first. Now we want to get our bullet wrap if we can get it. I don't think he's close enough. He's not close enough. I'm not going to waste the GBE. All right, let's go with a shock over here while we wait for bullet to come back around and join the party. Okay, shock there. A little bit late. Shock here. A little bit late. Ah, no. There goes half our rocket choppers just like that. Bingo, bango, bongo. It's so important to keep them alive. I mean, it sounds obvious just because the, the extra damage that they do at the beginning. Um, I think that just cost us everything right there. Uh, that extra damage that they do at the beginning, that's basically everything that's important. So, I gotta smoke these guys here. They're all just gonna die. Um, okay, let's move. Wait, what? How did I lose another one? All right, well, we're just on damage control now. We're just going to try to get as much damage away as possible. Um, this one is taking hits from the sniper tower somehow. Oh, my God, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How did we lose all of our rock choppers like that? Oh, man. Well, our only hope now is if the other guy re retreats. Okay, we, we have a chance. <laughs> we have a chance somehow. Somehow. All, like, <sighs> man. <clears throat> All we had to do is not screw that up, and we screwed it up royally. We screwed up every single part of that attack. Um, those level zero Zookas are, are not doing us many favors. So let's see if we can get a shock knuckles off here. He hit the shock bomb, but he also shocked everything else that's hitting him. Um, I don't know. So at 5 ER, I've got more buildings, right? So I don't know how the calculus works out there, but if he gets more buildings on my base um than i do on his base technically i believe that's less percentage oh i should retreat now uh so i'm interested to see what's gonna happen. he's he's ranked 20. Oh. oh i can't believe that just happened what did he even use heavy zooka come on man well we're close we're close we're, we're right at 20 guys we're right there and I think we got the tools to do it. So hopefully that helps you guys out uh, for what to do next. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.